It's the holiday season. That means it's a time for reflection and appreciation. A time for pine trees with little red berries and for cute chubby songbirds. A time for finally making a new video after three months of silence. And most importantly, a time for friends and family. Especially if you're badgers. Welcome back to Badgers, Dick Jockeys of the Prairie. The common European badger is a noble, fascinating creature. It is also a complete arse twizzler, making its home by tearing the shit out of the prairie and feeding on pretty much whatever the fuck it can get its damned furry hands on. So goes the life of a badger. And guess what? You too can experience this glamorous life! In Shelter, you play as a mother badger making her way across the wilds and caring for her five babies. I've uh, taken the liberty of naming them Batman, Giuseppe, Red Vines, Constance, and Asplunder. You're welcome. No, but really, if you mess up, they die. And that detail is what really immerses you in the role. You feel like a goddamn mother badger. Note to self, use that as an alternative to motherfucker. I might just be overly susceptible to the influence of babies, but when I played, I was scanning the horizon for food like a mother badger. Yeah, nailed it. You have to make sure all your kids are consistently not starvy by giving them not starvy stuff. Exploring and looking for food is in fact the main focus of most of the stages, which is excellent because the visuals are basically an adorable four-year-old Korean girl playing a Beethoven violin solo directly into your occipital lobe. There are visible imperfections, but those color palettes and the personality and those colors and those colors! It's like I'm controlling papercraft models or a children's book, except more conceptually terrifying. The good visual design extends to the tutorials, which are unobtrusive and do a good job of teaching the basic mechanics. Other mechanics, however, are left to the player to figure out, and this is where things get interesting. Recently, a lot of the internet has been huffing and buffing about this model of game design in which the game teaches the player through gameplay rather than through a traditional tutorial. Now, I'm all for this approach, I think it's great, it's cool, whatever, but I think it's also a lot more feasible for games that start the player with only one or two simple functions, like, I don't know, jumping and shooting. Loads of games these days start you off with a whole satchel full of abilities and such, and while the ideal solution would be to design the game as its own teaching tool, there comes a point where A, this might be simply impractical, and B, some players might not be experienced enough to intuitively understand game mechanics. So how is this even relevant to the game? Are you just trying to seem cool by bucking a trend? Do you even know anything about game design? What are you, some kind of hack? Whoa, easy there, slugger. I'll answer those questions in reverse order. Yes, no, maybe. And it's relevant because design-wise, Shelter lies in between the gameplay-based teaching style and the tutorial-based style. And from this in-between space, Shelter provides some insight as to why neither style is perfect. You can see this as early as the first few minutes of the game. You start off in a burrow with your cubs, one of whom is acting like a worthless, good-for-nothing deadbeat. Now your first instinct is probably to tell that freeloader to stop playing World of Craft Wars all day and get a goddamned job. But if you wander over to the turnip in the corner, a tutorial window tells you how to pick it up, hinting at some gameplay importance. <laughs> okay, just really quick. The existence of this perfectly formed, full-grown turnip inside a badger burrow implies a previous scene in which the badger plants a turnip in the ground with its badger hands, and I can't get that out of my head. I want to play the game where that happens. Anyway, you eventually figure out that your gray baby is the only other important thing in the room, and it seems like a fair assumption that you're its mother, so you try feeding it, and hey! Your gray baby turns into a baby, and you can leave the burrow. So through a mixture of tutorials and clever design, you've learned that the major mechanic is feeding your cubs, who instead of having life bars or something, turn gray when they're hungry, blah blah blah, blah good design, blah blah, blah blah blah, conveyance, you get the idea. See, if there were more tutorial flavor to this badger salad, you'd stop feeling like a part of the game, you'd start feeling less like a mother badger in the wilderness figuring shit out, and we can't have that. But if there were less tutorial and more reliance on the player, well, let's skip forward in the game a bit. A later stage in the game takes place at night. If your kids hear a scary noise, they'll run off, and if you don't catch up with them, someone gets eaten. I had to figure this out for myself, and while I appreciate that the developers believed I was smart enough, it's a bit less intuitive than it sounds. If there had been a little tutorial, I would have finished the game with two more cubs. Oh, sorry, I was just, uh, thinking. Maybe the game wanted me to lose the cubs. Maybe certain parts of the game are supposed to be cryptic. I don't know, I'm not the expert here. But it doesn't negatively affect the game, that's not the point. The point is that it raises some interesting questions. Do I disagree with the people who advocate conveyance and intuition in game design? No. But as former US President Ronald Reagan once didn't say, sometimes that kind of design works better in theory than in practice. This has been Alex and Crackers. Yippee ki -yay, Mother Badger.
Hey, so it's been a while. I can tell that you guys don't like that because a lot of you are unsubscribing. I wanted to assure you all that I have not stopped making videos. I'm going to continue to do that. Things have been changing a lot. I actually don't live where I filmed this right now. I started college. Soon, I will be making videos fairly regularly. Not that I had a good schedule to begin with, but don't worry. Everyone calm down. Nothing to be alarmed about. That's it. Thank you. Yes. Good. Okay. Yeah. Bye.